On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and shame Dear friends in Christ, we bring to you a lengthy reflection in series for Tuesday, March 16, 2021, in the fourth week of the Lent of 2021. We've been reflecting on the theme, the presence of God's healing power in the elements of nature, in the sacraments and sacramental signs and symbols. All the readings of today present us the presence of God's healing power in the elements of nature, in the sacramental signs and symbols. In both the readings, we saw the healing effect of water, the natural element, a symbol and sign of the measuring stick, and the sanctuary as contained in the first reading from the book of prophet Ezekiel. In the Gospel, Jesus presents to us the very fact that what seems to be impossible to men is very possible to him. The man who has been ill for 38 years received instant healing by Jesus' words. He himself is the sacrament of the church. The season in which we are is well known for its healing and making use of symbols and signs. For instance, at the inception of this season on Ash Wednesday, we receive ashes on our foreheads, which is a symbol as well as a sign. Man, you are dust, and unto dust you will be returned. On receiving the ashes, we tell ourselves the truth of our nothingness. We thank God for giving us this moment and season, a great occasion and season for us to correct the faults we have committed in ignorance. This season and moment is a time of self-evaluation, is a time and season of grace, is a season of mercy, is a season of repentance, is a season of metanoia, a turning back from our sins and Running towards God Himself. Above all, it is a season and a moment of healing. When we make a turn towards God by fasting from sins and abstaining from evils, continuously we grow in virtues, and that is the upward sign that we have received the healing of God. Our country, Nigeria, is very sick, is sick indeed, and needs healing. We ourselves as individuals at various capacities and levels. We are also sick and we need the healing of God. One may ask, how are we sick? And I will say, any evil doer is sick, and such a fellow needs God's healing. The process and means of God's healing are made available to us through the church in the sacrament of Annas. But like the sick man at the pool by the sheep gate, who was not just sick but needed healing, but at the same time, he was disabled. He was spiritually and humanly disabled. Thus he says, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. John 5 7. Many have reasons why they don't make use of the available means and processes for healing for their spiritual ill health. For us to gain the healing available in the sacraments, in nature, sacramental science and symbol, we need to overcome our spiritual and human disabilities. Procrastination is a disability. Unnecessary excuses are disabilities. And snobness is also a disability. Self-discipline is a great tool for us to overcome spiritual and human disabilities so as to have the healing we need. It is often difficult to overcome certain disabilities, but discipline is the medicine of disabilities. And the harder the difficulty, the more serious we should be with the discipline. You yourself know your difficulties in overcoming certain disabilities, be it spiritual or human. Double your efforts during this late season and you will be healed of such disability. We beg the good and merciful Lord that through this lengthy period and beyond, He may pour out a spirit of compassion on us all so that our repentance may bring us healing and our healing Healthfulness may endure to the end. Amen. Have a spiritual legend. I will claim.